Hello, my name is Gold Vision. I have encountered a philosophical stumbling block, and I hope that you can help me. Oh, and it exploded! In Animal Crossing New Horizons, if you shake a tree, the contents of the tree fall on the ground. Additionally, there is a chance that the tree may drop a piece of furniture, a tree branch, or money, I have learned. It took me two days to be convinced to shake trees, as I saw the act itself a violent adjacent move for selfish gain. Once I realized that by not shaking trees I was actually preventing the growth of new fruit or the procurement of new furniture and in so limiting the trees' productivity and the islanders and other online players the product of those trees while in no apparent way causing damage to those trees, I was convinced that the process was a worthwhile endeavor. The same with picking flowers that eventually grow back. Additionally, by collecting fruit and money from the trees, I was capable of stimulating the island's economy, which would provide comfort for the citizens and promote the well-being of everyone involved, fruit and flowers reappearing after a few days. However, in the process of shaking trees, there's also a chance that a wasp's nest will fall, and when it does, the swarm of wasps will attack the tree's shaker, stinging them and leaving a temporary mark that the other islanders will make fun of until remedied. A second sting will incapacitate the stung, a clear indicator that being stung is dangerous and definitely unhealthy. I have not been collecting bugs or fish, as Tom Nook has suggested. I do not think contributing to the economy by restricting the freedom of harmless inhabitants to the benefit of others is a line I want to cross. Anything without its own locomotion is fine to rearrange, as I think it is a spiritual opportunity to creatively organize items which would otherwise remain motionless and underappreciated. Why else have we been given this sentience and body if not to analyze, appreciate, organize, and build on top of the properties of reality we are subject to? To craft weeds into leaf umbrellas, facilitating the health of islanders and produce sustainable goods to share. To further demonstrate, I have protected these Schrodinger's sea creatures that have washed onto the shore. I've kept them near the water and have waited several days to see if they have locomotion or if they are empty shells, wanting to give them the freedom to return to the ocean if they so desired. If they do not, I will not shy from exchanging them for their market value to stimulate the economy and improve the lives of those of us with more awareness to exchange for goods and art that increase the value of the moment-to-moment -moment experience of those who perceive. Upon a visit to my sister's island, she demonstrated that collections of the wild will lead to the building of a museum, the what? bugs and fish collected placed safely within the aquariums and terrariums, but their freedom restricted to the confines of the building. It is indeed a nice building, and I am torn because captive animals do live longer and safer lives in spite of the damage they might incur during their capture. The wasps, however, I have imprisoned in self-defense. I do not have a problem temporarily reducing the agency of the actively violent a process that is not easy but I still believe is important. By catching them in my net, the wasps move into inventory and can be safely stored and stacked. In release, the wasp will disappear into nothing, a process which is the closest to death that I have seen in this game. I can still release any of the wasps I have captured or I can donate them to Tom Nook's museum plan, at which point I will relinquish control over the life of the bug and give it to him. The museum seems integral to the progress of this society on the deserted island. It would also give me a place to donate all the fossils I have found, which cannot be displayed or studied independently. I've only been playing for about a week, so I don't know the long-term implications of any of this, but as a person who is still unwilling to destroy the balloons in exchange for the contents of the prisons they suspend, I do not want to destroy the wasps if that's what happens. I'm hoping players with more insight can help, namely should I donate these wasps to Tom Nook and keep them safely away from the islanders? Do I need this progress? Do I simply allow myself to get stung and for aggressive animals to wander freely? This and any other advice is welcome. Until then, I will be awaiting the growth of my money trees and building weed umbrellas to share with my friends. My name is Gold Vision. Uh, let me know down below.